MC me or Ashley and we're back with episode five of Marry My Husband. This episode, um, well first off, let me just say we ended episode four finding out that Ji Hyuk came back from the future to the past to help Jiwon. Um, we found out that he was at her um, memorial when G when Min Hwan and Su Min got arrested for her murder, and he found out a lot of stuff that he didn't know about. Episode five five opens with Ji Hyuk, Ji Hyuk and all his friends, and they're like in a circle celebrating um, him having a hundred days off but they surround him in a circle it looks like that new that uh tiktok trend where somebody tapes the camera to the ceiling and everybody gets in a circle they're doing like that um is what it looks like and then they all take beer and they spray it on him so he gets covered in beer and they're like having a good time um guess who was the leader of the of the chant his friend with the eyebrows. We find out his name, okay? I'm gonna look it up because I wrote it down at the part where they said it. Jo Dong Suk. So that's his friend's name. Uh, jo Dong Suk. His name I'll have to get used to. I'm starting to get used to everybody else's now though. Go me, even though I'm probably getting them terrible, saying them terribly. But um, <clears throat> after they do the chant, he hands. Um, Dong Suk his wallet so they can go get more soju because they want to get soju and go to the back to the college and drink and hang out. And while they're about to walk over there, <laughs> Dong Suk screams because there's a girl in the middle of the street drunk as shit and she looks like a ghost, you know, with like her hair all in front of her face. It's our girl, it's our girl Ji Wan, drunk as a skunk. All alone, might I add you, in the middle of a college uh, town, or college uh, city from what it looks like, or area. And uh, they like all start to walk away, and Ji Hyuk um, overhears these two guys saying, oh, we should take her. And the one guy's like, it would be impolite not to. Me, in the exact disgusting way that you're thinking, yes, that's what they were trying to do. And when they're about to go, Ji Hyuk t about faces and walks back to her to go talk to her. And she d has the cutest uh, interaction with him. It's their meet cute, y'all, and it's super adorable. Um, she bites him. <laughs> she spills all her beans. She tells him she's drunk by herself. Her boyfriend broke up with her. And um, she doesn't have any friends because nobody likes her, which we know is a lie. People like her. Somebody's just being a saboteur behind the scenes. But um, he takes her to this green, um, like this field, and they just sit. And they go to a store, and he buys beer, but he also buys a pop. And they're sitting there talking and she broke her, I should mention her glasses fell off. Um, and she kind of stepped on them, so she wasn't wearing them. But when she takes them off, we get another visual of that blurry face. And it, it was, it was Ji Hyuk. It was him. It was him. He looks... <laughs> He's still cute, but he looks kind of, he looks like a dork, but, um, I think I, I like dorky guys, but anyways, <laughs> they go to this field and they just sit and drink. He gives her the pop because he was like, she couldn't read the beer. She had it like this close to her face, like this close to her face. That would be me trying to read something. That's how blind I am. But, um. He was like, if you can't even read that it's beer, I don't think you need to be drinking anymore. And he opens the pop and gives it to her. She, why does she drink it like it's beer? You know she's fucked up if she thinks that pop is 
beer. And um, while she's just sitting there, she's telling him her dad passed away three months ago and um, she doesn't have any friends. And she's like, well, no, that's not true. I have one friend. Her name's Suman. But whenever I call, she's never there. Like, she doesn't answer. Um, and she's like, our timing's just all off. Because if you don't remember, Jiwan went to school in uh, Seoul, from what it sounds like. I forget the name of the university that she went to. And Suman blame Jiwon for her not getting into a good college because she made her break up with her boyfriend in Ho who she never dated um and she bombed her entrance exam so she stayed back home and went to school there um and she's like telling him how great Suman is and how she's pretty and cute and nice and everybody likes her and um that her she notices her boyfriend smiling at Suman. Are you sensing a pattern here? Yeah. But she says being around her makes her feel like um like a loser. And Ji Hyuk's like, well, you shouldn't be around her if that's how she makes you feel. And she's like, No. Do you know what it feels like to not have anybody? I just want stability and she's the only person that I know and she's the only friend that I have because her dad passed away her mother left so Suman's all she really has <clears throat> and Ji Hyuk's like um I'm a loser too then he was like my mom passed away 15 years ago and his dad got remarried and he has a stepsister and a stepmom and G wants like, you are a real loser. And he's like, what? He like spits his beer out. She's like, yeah, your uh, dad was nice enough to find a family for you when he, um, so you have people you can rely on. And he was like, well, my dad passed away too. But, um, I will say he was happy when he passed. And Jiwon's like, I wish my dad would have done that too. Maybe he would have still been alive. Like, fall, found somebody else to love. But as we know, he didn't, unfortunately. And then they wake up in the field. Uh, well, Ji Hyuk wakes up in the field and he like looks over and sees that she's still there. And he covers her up with his jacket because he put it on her when she fell asleep. And he goes back to sleep, and then when he wakes back up, she's gone. She just left his jacket there. So he's like, they didn't exchange names. They don't know anything. And then it cuts to Ji Hyuk doing uh, practicing martial arts with um, Dong Suk um, for the martial arts club. And he still beats him. Okay, let me just say we've seen Dong Suk get lose in sparring matches with Ji Hyuk twice already. And guess what? He's a reserve on the Olympic team. But he keeps getting beat. And he says that. He's like, how am I getting beat by a civilian? This isn't fair. <laughs> and um, after they get done sparring and they're leaving, Ji Hyuk hears Ji Won talking and he like looks over and he doesn't see at first who she's talking to but she hears him hears her say it's so embarrassing i ran into she's like i woke up next to an unpleasant old looking man and she tells the cat she's like i hope he doesn't go to this school that's so embarrassing um <laughs> and his he is so offended when he hears her say that it's hilarious um, but later he hears, um, when he's leaving with his friends again, he hears the cat. That's who she was talking to. She's actually, actually feeding it. She takes care of it. She heard him, heard the cat mewing and he like looked and when he looked at it, he, um, remembered what she said and he asked his friends, he was like, Hey, do you guys think I'm, um, 
unpleasant looking and like an old man and they're like yeah no no and he gives them a smile and they're like oh yeah no you're a nice looking dude and they like run off like walk off very unconvincing okay i just wanted to say that and he keeps seeing her like feeding the cat there's like a they do a montage of him seeing her feeding the cat um and the one time he actually gets some little cat treats to give to it and the one time he sees her it's um feeding the cat it's snowing out or it starts to snow and she's like covering the cat's head while it's eating and when he sees that he thinks it's the cutest thing ever but he goes to go build a little shelter for the kitten and the next day when Jiwon comes to feed it, she sees it has a little shelter. So she feeds it, of course. And then she gets it a little, like a little pillow to sleep on. And she gets it the little scratching post. Um, and then it cuts it again. And it's, it's warmer now. But uh, Ji Hyuk sees a cat in the road and it's about to get hit. And he runs out to go save it. And then it cuts from that scene. We don't know what happens after that part as far as those two. So I'm like, did he go, did he get hit? Did he save the cat? We don't know yet. We don't know. Um, <clears throat> but then it cuts to 2011 and Ji Hyuk is back from his um, working at the U.S. branch for his uh, grandpa's company. And he's introduced to one of the new employees. It's Jiwon. She just started there. And the shitty manager is still there. I know I said I wasn't going to say that, but he's just such a piece of shit. <laughs> but he's already berating her, saying, like, she's not a good worker and all this other stuff. And um, when he's looking at her, he thinks about all the missed opportunities he's had. And I think... At this point, he was going to probably approach her and try and talk to her, but he catches her in the break room flirting with Min Hwan, like they're together now, and he's like, I miss my opportunity every time I miss my opportunity. And then that, that like flashback sequence ends, and then we go to the current time, and Ji Hyuk, y'all... Ji Hyuk walks into the office looking delectable, okay? He looks fantastic. Three-piece suit, hair done, suit fitted, no glasses, and he's strolling in, and everybody's jaws are on the floor, except for Jiwon. She just smiles because she was like, oh, he looks nice. But, um, yeah, even the guys are, like, in shock. And he walks straight up to Jiwon and he was like, you're right, it does feel good. When she said that, that was the reason why she changed her style. So Min Hwan catches them smiling at each other like that and gets irritated, of course, because he's a pissy little child. And he drags her into one of the empty conference rooms and he was like, um, what are you doing? Is he trying to talk to you? And Jiwon's like, no, it's not like that. He's has a girlfriend. And he was like, did he tell you that? Did he tell you that? Or are you just making that up? And uh, he was like, it doesn't matter. He could have a girlfriend. He's like, all men cheat. And in her mind, she's like, is it all men or is that just you? And he was like, she was like, well, I just thought all men were like you. Like the image, the image he thinks she thinks of him but we our girl's hip already maybe past jiwon would have been that naive but new jiwon's like um she's basically messing with him he's like uh, uh yeah yeah i I'm, I'm not that kind of guy but all these other men out here are like that okay bitch guran guran comes into the room that they're in she like knocks and she's like hey i need to talk to you so she leaves and min Hwan's like looking at her saying like she has changed a lot. She looks so pretty. And he's like watching her. And she has friends now. It's so nice seeing her walk around the office with anybody else other than Suman. Like, 
attached at her hip, all disgusting and uh, leech-like. And um, when he's leaving, he sees Suman, and he slaps himself and walks off. He walks the opposite direction of her, and she's like, oh, what? Why is everybody running for me? Because you're trash, bitch. All the girls are in the break room talking about how good Ji Hyuk looks. And they're like, oh, did you see his shoulders? Did you see how tall he is? And um, the only people that are talking about work stuff are Jiwon, uh, Guran, and Yeonhee, or Hee Yeon. They're actually discussing the meal pit kit plan because those are the three people that Jiwon wants to work with on the plan, on the kit. Unlike what Shitty Boss has in mind, which we already seen. He crossed, um, he crossed Jiwon's name off the plan totally. So, like, what's up with that? First, he just told her that it was going to be her, uh, Suman, and Guran. But he crossed her name off, remember, when they went to, when he had dinner with Suman. So we'll see how that goes. While Ji Hyuk's, Ji Hyuk's in his office, his grandpa's right-hand man calls and asks him, he has like questions about his stock because he's buying from places that he's not familiar with and they're just kind of concerned. And he's like, yeah, I did it. Um, and the grandpa's like, okay, just keep an eye on it and make sure he doesn't have, he didn't buy anything else under like a pseudonym or something. And I'm like, What's up with Grandpa? He was like not this involved in the drama and I appreciated that because it was more about uh, setting up your chess pieces to take down these two idiots, uh, <laughs> Min Huan and Su Min, and like the back and forth between them. Hopefully we keep that to a minimum. The three ladies, they're talking about the meal kits, um, like I mentioned, and Su Min comes in and she starts talking about how she um she could never get all of her work done because she was always going out to see Su uh see Jiwon. Um and Jiwon never had any friends while they, she was there. She always stayed in the library and all these other like mean little shady put downs. And uh Hugh Yeon sees it. She notices it and she's like, Well maybe that's because she, maybe that's why she didn't have any friends because you kept going to visit like monopolizing her time like the little symbiote that she is and um Suman gets all mad <laughs> when she says it and she's like no uh we're just good friends like that and uh I don't know if Guhara or not Guha Juran I don't know if Juran's picked up on the shittiness of um her attitude but she was just like, wow, you guys have a really good, you guys have a really close relationship. And um, Jiwon's like, this should, that should never, this should never be considered a friendship. And then the crappy boss busts into the office. Well, it's the break area where all the ladies are. And he is like, oh, look at y'all in here being all lazy. Like, what are women even in the work, in the office for anyways? You guys don't do anything. And he calls Jiwon by her school instead of, instead of by her name. I think they called it Hanuk, Hanuk University. He gives her his car keys and he's like, here, here, Hanuk, go move my car. I found a crappy parking spot and I want a better one now. And he's like, what? You think you're too good to move my car? If they don't take this man down soon, Okay, he's so ugh, irritating, belittling. His dick must be the size of an eraser. Like, what's your problem, dude? She actually does go and move his car for him. And when she's on her way back up on the elevator, she was like, I bet you Suman is going to be out here outside the elevator waiting. She was. As soon as Suman, or as soon as Suman sees her, she wraps her arm in uh, Jiwon's and she's like, did you move the, did you do a good job moving the car? And she's like, well, I wanted to ask again. She was like, can I be on the proposal? I'll work really hard. 
and uh, G Wan like, and she's like, well, I'll think about it. And she was like, well, I'll think about it. And when she goes to grab her wrist, and she's like, we grab her wrist. Are you still mad at me? Are you still mad at me? We just need to talk more. We just need to talk I need to pull this sensation. I need to pull this time. We need to both work here. We need to both work here. We're here until we die. You can do that as a contractor. I'm not helping you get a full-time position. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when I seen it. But Jiwon was really, like, taken aback because they're starting to amp up their crappy behavior sooner than they did in the previous timeline. Like, it wasn't until after she was married and Juan really started being abusive, she says. And Suman, she did everything she wanted. She never gave pushback. So now that she's giving her pushback now, she's acting like a bitch. But after she gets the, um, after that part, the boss sees her and he's like, come in my office, I need to talk to you. And he tells her, why hasn't she put in the updated proposal for the meal kit? And she's like, oh, I'm still working on it. He's like, oh, is this as good as you can get? This is, and he's like, this is about as far as I think you can go. Um, it's actually in the way of my own <clears throat> proposal so I'll just take over from here he's trying to take her off totally off the proposal that she came up with and she's like huh she's like no I'll work hard on it I'll get it to you and when she walks out of the office out of his office zoom and smirking and smiling like <laughs> you're not even going to be on it at all it's going to have my name on it and my ass well neither one of their asses didn't do anything i'm sure they're going to have juran they'll have juran doing everything and while she's like trying to think of how she can like spin this whole proposal thing back in her favor because it's it's her freaking idea um ji hyuk sees her standing there and he walks up to her and he's like how are you doing and she's are you okay and she's like yeah i'm okay and he's like, do you have any plans for tonight? And she's like, is it for work? And he's like, she's like, if it's for work, I can't. I have personal, if it's not for work, I can't. I have personal um, plans tonight. And she like walks off. He's like, personal plans. And he's trying to figure out what she has planned and make sure she's not meeting up with Min Hwan. It cuts to Juwan going into a restaurant and she's going to the bar to meet up with Inho. Remember, she said, she asked if they could meet up after they exchanged numbers so she could see that letter that he said he received from her uh, saying she wasn't interested in him. And they drink some wine and, and they're like catching up and she finally asks him about it and he pulls it out. But before that, I know, right? Dang. <laughs> before that, it goes to Min Juan, who's sitting in his car trying to call her. But her phone is in her purse. She can't hear it. It's on vibrate. And she's having a good time. And since he can't get in contact with her, he calls Suman. And Suman, this little manipulative, evil little cunt, goes and spills the beans about how Jiwan's mom left her dad. She cheated on him. And she was like, well, you know, that's how her dad or her mom left her dad, right? Um, and he was like, no, she never told me that was the reason. She just said that her mom left. She didn't say why. And Jiwon's like, oh, trying to act all shocked. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you knew. I didn't mean it. He was, she's like, just act like you didn't know. You know, cheating's not genetic. It's not a genetic thing. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I know. It's okay. She, and she's like... You need to make sure you get your girl in line. She's a she's acting a little too freely. And Minwan's like, yeah, yeah. And he like gets off the phone with her. <clears throat> and after Suman gets off the phone with him, why does she have this little evil smirk on her face? And she like giggles like, <laughs> like she's so happy to call, throw a wrench in whatever good stuff that Jiwon has going on right now because things aren't going her way like bitch work do your job what do you do all day nothing I know <laughs> but anyways um it switches back to um Jiwon at the uh restaurant with Inho 
and she looks at the letter and she is terrified. Like she gets chills. She's so disturbed. Suman knows how to copy her handwriting. In the letter, it's like, oh, you think just because you're popular, you're great, and I think you're disgusting, and I don't ever want to, I don't want to talk to you, is the, kind of the gist of the letter. And Jiwon is terrified, and she was like, this is my handwriting, but I promise you, I did not write this. And Inho's like happy, because he's like, yay, <laughs> it wasn't her, <clears throat> but... He notices that she's cold and he tries to give her, her her his jacket. And she's like, oh, no, no. She's like, um, I think it's just chilly in here. Um, can we go? Like, go somewhere else or, like, leave? And he's like, oh, sure. And they go to get up and they're, like, this close to each other. I was like, oh, but nothing happens. And when they go to leave um, and they're walking, I don't know where they're walking to, but they're, like, in an open area outside. And she turns to him and she's like, Inho, I just want to tell you, I have a boyfriend. And while they're out there talking, Ji Hyuk, he found them. He drives by and he's like walking or he's like contemplating if he wants to call her or not. Um, after he's seen her later, because those two did part ways. Um, but before that, Ji Won's like, I know he's a good man, like Inho, way better than Min Hwan, but she's like, but that's, she tells him, she's like, I have a boyfriend. And um, they part ways. She goes to a pharmacy, and while she's there, like, getting a prescription, because her stomach was bothering her, it wasn't, it's not, it's not a cancer scare. Um, it was just because she drank all that wine without eating anything. And while she's waiting for a prescription, Min Hwan calls her again. And she just turns her phone off because she's tired of him calling her. She has she hasn't answered any of his calls. Ji Hyuk finally does decide to call her, but it's after her phone's been turned off. So he U-turns it. But um, Ji Won's going to her apartment, and she feels kind of uh, uneasy because it feels like somebody's following her, and she gets uh, spooked. So she starts right. Um, like quickly trying to get to her apartment and when she's like looking behind her and she turns back around Min Wan is in front of her like a goddamn scary uh, predator and he was like where were you or well no she's like huh was that you were you the one following me she's like why would why didn't you just uh, yell out to me if it was you he was like why would I do that it was fun watching you be scared hello Hello? I did not consent to this little cat and mouse game that you have me in right now, sir. So, I'm gonna need you to stop, okay? Back up, okay? Stop right there. Oh, or did you think it was another man? And she was like, she was just like, she was so scared. She's like, what? She's just so taken aback that he was enjoying this. And he was like, why should I? You don't want to answer any of my phone calls. It was fun seeing you all scared. And she's like, what are you? And he's like, look at your lips. Did you reapply lipstick after work? And she like rubs her hands on her lips and she shows them. She's like, no. And then he's like, do you wear perfume? And he's like, do you have blush on? And she's like, she doesn't even get a chance to say anything. She's like, she is denying everything. She's like, no, I haven't done anything. And he was like, oh. and then under his breath, he says, apple doesn't far, fall far, too far from the tree. And she's like, what? What did you say? And in her mind, she was like, Suman, this bitch told him. He was like, when did you leave work? And he grabs her wrist. And he was like, like looking at her watch. He's like, what time did you leave work? We can always check to see what time you clocked out. And she was like, let go. You're hurting me. And he keeps tightening his grip on her wrist. And Ji Hyuk thank goodness, comes out of somewhere and uh, breaks them apart, takes Min Hwan and flips him on his back in the sand because they're like at a play playground area. And he like looks up and he's like, oh, oh, what? 
He's and he gets up real quick. He's like, oh, just because you're a supervisor doesn't mean you can be out here. He's like, this is a personal. This is personal. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Like trying to fix his clothes and stuff. And Min Hwan just or not Min Hwan. Ji Hyuk just looks at him like you piece of trash. And then he tries to fight him. He was like, oh, you think just because you're a manager that you can get in the way? This is a personal problem. And he tries to like, I think he tries to like buck up on him. Like say he's going to get him. And Ji Hyuk picks him up by the collar and pushes him up against the playground equipment and lifts him up. So it's like he's on his tippy toes. He was like, don't you ever touch her. Don't you ever threaten her. He's like, you are a piece of trash. And he's like shook. And he's like choking him, choking him. And he's like patting on him, patting on his arms. Like, let me go, dude. Like, let me do, look, let me go. And G, uh, Jiwon comes up and she's like, Mr. Yu, stop it, stop it. And he finally drops him. Why does his ass run? He bolted like a deer. He took off. And I'm like, after he's like halfway down the block, He's like, Oof, she didn't come with me. Why would she come with you? He's like, God damn it, I just left those two alone. And he tries to kick a piece of trash and he falls on his back. And he's like, he's like, oh, I could have took him. No, you couldn't, no, sir. Sir, no, you couldn't. <laughs> you could not have. And it cuts to Yuan and Ji Hyuk having a conversation. And out of the shadows creeps Suman. She was coming because she wanted to see Jiwon getting yelled at by Minho. You are a devious, evil person, woman. You stirred this pot and now you're going to go see what's become of what you caused. Um, but she's shocked when she sees that it's... Uh, Jiwon and Ji Hyuk and she get a she gets a phone call from Min Hwan and she like answers and she like scurries away like the little roach that she is and um then it cuts to Jiwon and <laughs> Ji Hyuk and he was like well she's like what are you doing here he was like I had some business in the area she's like what kind of business he was like we have a warehouse around here she was like okay and he was like and I was worried. And she was like, worried of what? She, or I'm concerned. He was like, I'm concerned because I feel, I'm scared that Mr. Park is going to try to hurt you, Min Juan. And she was like, no, he would never hurt me. And he was like, I seen him grab your wrist. And she's like, well, it didn't hurt. And he was like, nobody should ever touch you like that. And um, she's like, I don't want you to be scared and... Um, he said something and Ji Wan was like, no, I want him to be scared. Min Hwan, she was like, it felt really good to see him be afraid after when Ji Hyuk did all that stuff to him. But he see, he's getting a little jelly and actually concerned about his girlfriend now. Like he just doesn't have it in the bag like he thought he did. Ji Wan finally tells, she tells uh, Ji Hyuk, she's like, you're making me uncomfortable. He was like, well, I'm just really worried about you. And she was like, she says it again. She was like, your feelings that you have because of me are making me uncomfortable. And he was like, do you know why I feel like this? And she was, and she like cut it off. She was like, I don't like cheating for any reason. She was like, I find it to, it's one of the meanest things that you can do to somebody. And he, um, and then she gets upset because she was like, I know you have a girlfriend, and he was like, I took care of that. And when he says that, she's like, what? How could you do this? See, she's like, Hiyoyoni is so sweet. And she's so cute and caring. And she's like, I, she's somebody that I, um, I love very much, like, as a friend. And he's like, whoa, 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 wait, what? And she's like, it's, she was like, and you're just going to break up with her? She was like, I'll, I'll call her right now. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And the, I, this part I really appreciated because he just talked about not putting your hands on somebody. So you expect him like to maybe like grab her wrists like we would expect from Min Juan. But he just, he uses his hands to stop her from calling. 
Oh, he like hovers his hands over her phone. He's like, wait, 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 just give me a moment. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. And he was, and he like processes everything. He's like, so you think I'm dating Hyun Yeon, Hyu Yeon, Hyu Yeon, and that I like you. And she's like, yes. He was like, you're right. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? What? And he's like, I do like you. And I'm like, oh shit, he said it. He said it. And he's like, but that's the only part you got right. <laughs> he, he takes out his phone and he shows his cell phone. Uh, Hugh Yeon saved herself as, and his phone is most beautiful. And he calls her and she's like, <sighs> This phone will this self this phone will self destruct if you don't get to the point in five, four. And he was like, "I love you." And she hung up. <laughs> and Jiwon's like, <clears throat> and he's like, "Do you expect somebody who's dating somebody to act like that?" And she like right as he says that, she immediately calls back and he puts it on speaker. And she was like, "Are you dying?" Are we going to have to update the family registry? <laughs> What's going on? Don't call me and say stuff like that. And he hangs up on her. And Jiwon is like so embarrassed. She's like, oh my God, is she your sister? And he's like, yes, she's my sister. We are not dating. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry I said all that. Forget everything that I said to you. I'm so embarrassed. And he was like, but... What I said is still true. He was like, I like you a lot. And I was like, <laughs> I screamed. And he walks her back to her apartment and he's, they're talking, like exchanging their um, greetings goodbye. He passes out, <laughs> he passes out. He leans forward and you think he's gonna, he's gonna kiss her. He passes out on her shoulder. And that's how the episode ends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've already got watched episode six, um, but I haven't taken the notes for it. I've only watched, because today's Tuesday. I haven't taken the notes, so I'm going to be watching it again. But I want to get this out. Um, this episode, I told you guys it was good. It was, it was really sweet seeing their uh, meet cute. And I'm so happy that he was there to save her from those uh, perverted guys. And he was very gentlemanly about the whole thing. And they got to know each other a slight bit. And within that time, he fell in love with her, which I think was is so cute. Besides, I think seeing her, meeting her, and then seeing her take care of them, both taking care of the cat, that's like, I think that mostly solidified it. Um, and then when he seen her at work again, I think he thought that would be his opportunity to try again, but unfortunately it didn't work out because of course she met Min Hwan. Um, I did not like seeing the crappy boss and Su Min try to bully her into putting Su Min on the proposal. And from what it seems like it might happen, unfortunately. Um, Ji Hyuk walking in to the office with his new look wasn't a bad sight at all thoroughly enjoyed hair looked fantastic suit fantastic uh jiwan had on this gorgeous outfit um was a black skirt and this white blouse that was like v-line it was v-neck Gorgeous and she has those heels on that I, I told you guys about that. I really enjoyed the first day she walked in um, For her makeup after her makeover for work um, I Haven't walked in heels in so long so they look fantastic, but I know my ass my ankles would be broken uh, You know those videos with the models that would be me at this point. I like seeing Jiwon with uh, Guran and Hyu Yeon and having friends outside of Suman who don't seem to fall for her bull crap. <clears throat> like it seems like it happened back in high school. 
even though it seems like she's trying to worm her way in to try and cut off those people. Um, Min Juan, <laughs> Min Juan getting flipped. Uh, that was so satisfying. If he could have got beat up a little more, it would have been great, but that would have been a little overkill. The fall, or the, the throw was bad enough at it, as it is. We know he can't fight. He can have all the bravado he wants to say he has, but I w he would get his ass beat, and I would be there cheering to s <laughs> while it happens. I think that's everything. I'm so upset about uh, him, the crappy boss, making Ju Juwan go move his car. I was like, that's what you want to waste company time on, company money on, but we're lazy. And we don't do our jobs when you literally do nothing but from what it seems like still people's ideas but I'm excited to, to tell you guys about episode two I don't have any expectations because I've already seen it I'll usually leave those for uh, the last episode for the week where I what I want to see for next week we um, I'm kind of disappointed though we didn't see any uh, any movement towards Su Min and uh, Min Hwan getting together. But eh, hopefully it'll happen. But anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And hopefully you'll come to watch episode six. But thank you so much. And I will see ya. Bye. <laughs>